WN4 is the midpoint. We have Phoenix Squad with some core boys, some Phoenix boys coming into point. This is going to be a mad dash for this one. Of course, this point does favor, does, does favor the allies here. This is the save Monday clash. Should be weekend clash, but we're playing it on Monday, so we'll call it Monday clash. Uh, a 2v, I don't know how many there. Uh, said he gonna take a few out of oh my god that's carnage there in that transport truck saint and white death now are gonna have to 2v20 let's see if they can do it some re some more supplies on the south there coming in from dc phoenix also from 2fjg gonna be joining in on that one series his squad coming in from the south white death and saint are getting tons of kills white death here has at least three saints looking for some more up top here oh my god in a 2v20 i mean they hold they hold for a decent amount of time that lets serious squad get onto point here but where is the rest of the axis team well as we zoom out you can see powers on the backside providing some machine gun support there Artie's hammering the positions of the allies but i don't know if it's going to be enough the deployment is way 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 too slow from the rest of the axis team now there is one OP up near the strong point, but I don't think it's going to be enough here as the allies just really using Soviet tactics, storming WN4 strong point here. And I really do love that deployment from Sirius there. That is something I need to see more in competitive matches here on Utah. Um, <clears throat> using vehicles to bypass the barbed wire is probably the most effective tactic to get on point. Unfortunately, there just isn't enough. Isn't enough Axis members here, just the allies keep pouring into point. Uh, finally, a second vehicle is going to be pouring up here. Uh, unfortunately, um, like an Opa's going to just get sniped out. He went to the wrong spot there. No friendlies there. They're on the south side now. Woodland, Para, trying to get a little bit of uh, movement here. Sergeant Wolf coming down with the Phoenix squad. Wasabsi also getting in there. Kai Brush, of course, Saint. So that first squad that got uh, wrecked there trying to push back in, but it's going to be 3-2 off the bat here for the Allies. Good start for the Allies on this weekend, well, weekday clash, I guess we can call it now. A little concerned with the uh, tactics to push back to point, especially if they're taking the, the open field there. That's not going to be too successful. Tie brush. Uh, wasabi are both gonna get gunned down before they even make it halfway through the field apologies wasabi is a, there's a little bit of lag here in this area Oops. apologies for that we're gonna change the score too just so uh, i had to re-log into my uh my scoreboard here for some reason logged me out anyways three two on this one of course this this point is more favored towards the allies anyways i didn't expect the axis to put up that much of uh a threat and maybe if more of that that phoenix uh, squad that core squad had dismounted early instead of going all the way through they would have had a little more success in defending that midpoint Let's take a look at the map. You can see that uh, one squad from Syria is still pushing from the south side there. Really nice place for an OP. Uh, however, he's up against what? Three different squad, four different squad leads here just in the complex of WN4. Uh, here in a tank fight coming out. That's going to be a Finn let loose tank. They had a really close game this weekend taking out a Panzer IV. Uh, yeah, Finn let loose had a really close game with Phoenix this weekend where they went 3 2 in the last few minutes. Uh, of the seasonal match. So that was a great game. 75 doing the first kill here against that Panzer IV. Going to eat a rocket for it. White Walker is going to go down. No more AT bring bo uh, being brought to bear just yet on that 75. He's going to be controlling the south fairly successfully. Uh, you can see Christian, I believe, from STDB. Or is that... Yeah, that is STB Christian. May or may not have taken out that OP. I don't see anybody else spawning in. And Sirius was down, so I think that'll be the last uh, last ounce of pressure here on WN4. It's going to be up to the commander and these attacking squads to try and uh, set up maybe an airhead play uh, or some kind of flanking maneuver to get a Gary up or a half track up on the backside of WN4 here for the attackers. Now, if we shift over to Legrand Cirque here, we can see that there is some attacking coming out from the allies themselves. Finlet loose, getting bogged down in the town there. Hans. 
and Havoknik from CSP. They're the Czech team looking to stop them. Bommel also pushing pretty far up here. I wonder if he'll be able to get a shot onto maybe some of these defenders on the side. Bommel just one man. One man doing it all. Let's go on board with him here. See how far he gets. Well, he's looking. He can look to the right. He looks right behind him. He looks right behind him. He'll see Matthias there. No, we're going to look the other way. He's going to take out Kaki. He's 44. Grenades going out onto that OP too. So one OP going down here for the defenders. Uh, if he can manage to find out where this Gary is, that'd be a huge play here. Uh, no, he's going to get domed right in the back of his head there. Patron ass with an easy kill. Still, that one OP going down is going to be an issue here for CSP. I'm sure they're going to replace that. As we zoom out of this one, not too much happening in terms of the attack from the allies. Uh, there was a marked Gary here. You can see Alf probably getting that Gary down, the 82nd AD recruit. Defense very quickly rotating over to deal with any threat coming from this direction. Yeah, there we go. That's where the... Uh, where the spotted Gary, I guess, is or was. Let's see if it's still there. No. Just an OP for now. Guys are getting a nice kill there as the defenders converge onto that OP to shut down the attack. This is a really nice uh, wing right here. We've seen Para here before uh, defending Le Grand Cirque. You can really see so much from this uh, position here. Definitely advise people using it. Uh, looks like Par has become one with the wing. But it just offers so much visibility on the backside. Flanking units have such a hard time. Uh, let's rotate back to WN4. It looks like we have some armor engagement on the north side here. Uh, with multiple explosions from both sides coming out. I oh, can't quite see the armor pieces just yet. Unfortunate there. Uh, allies looking to push out, though. Pushing further out into the field here on the allies. Don't know if this is going to yield any results for either team. I don't favor the, the southern push here for the Axis or the allies. Just open fields here. You know, one machine gunner, one shooter um, can fairly easily suppress a full squad push. I'd much rather see like a, a half track go through the field supported by armor um, and really force the issue with the play. Uh, pack gun though coming out, you can see on the right of your screen there, that's going to be Alex and Wasabi getting this pack AT gun out. See if they can't uh, do something about the Sherman. See if we can find them. Already exploding in the fields here. CSP squad is under pressure right here. Pakansi and Larry. Don't know if their OP goes overrun. No, it's still up there. Able to defend against Nils and take out that uh, one. One person. Oh, what do we have here? We have a little airhead. Uh, this airhead is in the middle of the field, though. Or is it? No, I like this spot for the airhead. Where's the bombing run to follow, though? Uh, no bombing run, no arty. That's going to go very, very fast. Sharner. Uh, <laughs> Schnar. Schnarchy? I don't even know how to say that. I've been calling him Sharner for like the longest time. Uh, this is a decent spot for an airhead. Well, instead of in the middle of the road. Oh, man. Who, who is the Axis commander? Octo? Shame. Ding, ding, shame. This only works if you get the timing right. And Octo did not get the timing right for that one. You can see uh, the body parts strewn around the, uh, the area when uh, that one ally learned of his fate. So I don't like this airhead positioning. I like the area. I don't like the positioning of that one. I'd much rather he try to get it in this line right here. Because if you put it here, tank easily suppressed, machine gun easily suppresses, or or just on the other side of the, the berm right here is a nice spot for it. That bombing runs nice if it lands. It works if it lands. 
um because there's 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 lanes here it's very hard to just sidestep that bombing run but unfortunately general octo completely misses the timing of that one um moreover though i'd love to see a use of arty uh more for this type of push arty with smoke and then he instead of bombing run most people are pretty wise to a bombing run. I think the area that he dropped it in would have been viable for a bombing run just because it's so linear and you can't sidestep it. But for most cases, like an open field or whatever, uh, bombing runs are fairly easily telegraphed and you can sidestep them pretty easy. Uh, Tiger pulling up here, going to be trying to hold down this flank. I don't think uh, Weisenbergen is going to be able to get a satchel off on this Tiger though, uh, just because, yeah, he gets dropped there. Wolf with the peek and kill able to get the uh the kill onto the satchel boy there uh axis getting pushed back pretty far kind of surrounded onto this one gary that's not looking too good here for the axis team uh they need to be a little more dynamic i'd love to see a half track come out uh maybe double up on your at guns on the north side and maybe try to pull a half track up that could easily easily bypass anybody on the north here um remember vehicles can also bypass uh, why are they just drive right through right and I don't see anything really stopping a half track on this north side from just driving straight through I mean maybe if gold dragon respawns with his AT but uh, simple enough to take that tiger to the north uh, what's this exploding over here maybe just a trans truck yeah just a transport truck from the start of the game yeah allies really doing a number here pushing the axis back i expect that uh gary to be overrun soon you can also see the pressure coming in here onto the grand cirque let's take a good look at this one as the axis are trying to defend here christian from stdb fin let loose also getting fairly close here who is getting all these kills is that para below us on the plane no no not on the plane Who, who just killed all those guys there? Was that uh, Kinky? Possibly from DC. The rats. A uh, very tight defense right now. Look at the surround developing here. Allies attacking from all sides. A nice deployment there from Sirius on the left side of your screen. That's going to give uh, a little more opening for the defenders. They're not going to be able to get cut off on their west side. And, and they'll be able to try and get out a little bit here and put some pressure on the attackers from a different angle. However, it is very concerning. You can see Alf, Shiner, Lenny, Vilols, Bates, Lucky, Mebster, all kind of rotating over to the west side. So once that happens, expect there to be a full surround here on the point. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a bombing run all the way down from Buzz, all the way to Le Grand Cirque here. This is a pocket developing here. Alf is on the west side of it. Very close to that Gary there off point. Boba making it into point now for Finn's Let Loose. Crushes one OP, gets taken out. Yeah, Ragnar is so close here on the other side of the wall. Defenders are falling. Attack coming from all sides. Airhead getting dropped on the left side of your screen there. Bombing run to follow it up. This might be the bombing run. Ooh, kills a friendly. Kills some enemies too. Crucially, Raven's still alive. Raven needs to get that OP down ASAP and get some squad rotations in if the Axis are going to hold this point. Genosi's pushing. Karhuwa's pushing. Kalivanen's pushing. Wow, is pushing. Can CSP hold this point for the Axis? Raven's looking to get that OP up again. He's just in the middle of point, though. Kind of a 1v1 here. Kivalainen. Where's Raven? Oh, Kivalainen's going to get a free kill there. And he goes down, too. Oh, no. I wonder if Raven got that OP a little further back. You can see there are supplies dropping, and I believe this airhead has been dealt with here. Yeah, Sirius, uh, Skip, Ribe, and Saint all rotating for that airhead on the left flank. So one flank cleaned up. Uh, that's very, very good news here for the Axis. That means the pressure just coming from the, the kind of northwest, north, and east now. They're not completely cut off and surrounded. However, 76 is being pulled up here. 
Uh, Tiger falling back on the left side of your screen there. You can see Mebster in hot pursuit. Uh, also going into bites too. Oh, that Tiger not going somewhere good right now. <laughs> Let's go on board with him. Let's see also if uh, any of these AT can be brought to bear here. 2FGG Tiger uh, trying to support this back garrison here for the Axis team. Not a bad play. He is being pursued though by that 76. And I wonder if the 76 is going to have a shot through the field. Rocket missing there from Mars Mike. He misses his rocket onto the Gary. Uh, Nerfy here is going to pull out a rocket and try to get another one into the backside of this Tiger. Oh, just misses high there. Nerky gonna die for his sins. Uh, the Gary stays up too. Mars Mike missing that rocket. Uh, he's gonna want that one back, and I'm sure he's gonna be back very soon with another rocket. That uh, that Gary's in the middle of the open here. You can see right in the middle of the field. Uh, how many shooters can the Allies bring to bear? Looks like Mars Mike's gonna go for a second shot onto this Gary. Can he make it stick? Oh, it's going to be Jarza. No, Mrs. High, Jarza, no. All right, let's try it again. You got one more rocket. Mars Mike's got two left. Only a matter of time before this. Gary goes out. Oh, another rocket. Is it coming in? Full spawn wave. A bunch of bodies dropping here. Mars Mike with the second try. Yes, gets it for the second try. Also, something is shooting. It's going to be the 76. 76 is hitting... One hit onto the tiger into the side of that. Oh, it goes down. What a shot through the bush. How did he make that shot stick? Wow, Finn let loose, 76. Punishing the tiger there with some poor positioning. Uh, tiger getting caught out with absolutely no idea. Nice shot through the bush too. Wow. Usually those bushes block those shots. It's kind of surprising. I thought that tank and tiger was gonna be safe. Uh, and as we watch that action unfold here, you can see Finn Let Loose have pushed in again to point. Now they don't have that full surround. The Axis do have two avenues of approach, but they're just not getting the bodies into the sector and onto the strong point, which makes it seem at least for now that this could potentially be a 4-1. I mean, Nekri, uh, you got Schnar Schnarche, you got Vilals, Mars Mike, Nils, Genosi, all pushing in from the right side of your screen here. Now, respawns are coming down. CSUP's got that squad on point. They have the OP. Also, on the left side, you got a, a lot of body there too, but I just don't see those squad leads. You know, Thumbs needs to get up here. Setis needs to get up here. We need some more, uh, you know, OPs around the point. I think actually Seti's okay where he's at right now, holding down that west side. Uh, CSP getting into point. Okay, you see Raven's there too. I think uh, either Thumbs or Raven must be one of their squads that has the OP. I think it might be Raven though. We've seen him on point more often than not. But these, these forces are coming now. There was a reset. Axis does wipe the allies momentarily, but look, again, another wave of pressure coming in. Ragnar, Sledge, you wonder if they're going to get OPs down on the outside of point here. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they try to. To just have those respawns right on point, because look, there's a huge open field uh, to get to this point. Now, Sledge can rotate to that. Ah, I don't know. Artie's landing everywhere. It's so hard to say. Regardless, core versus CSP on point with STDB helping out here. I wonder if Genosi can get a satchel down. That would be a huge satchel. Is he going for it right now? Oh, he's patching. No, he goes for the patch, gets taken out. CSP do enough to hold for now. Damn. Nice fight here over Legrand here. Also, if you look to the right side, finally, we have some relief in the form of uh, Phoenix and DC coming in from the back line, trying to clear out the OPs and the Garys that the Allies have placed. Uh, well, I say trying, they all got wiped out. Damn, NVIDIA's still up though. Still a chance for maybe an OP here, but gonna have to be careful and gonna have to work pretty hard to get through this back line of this, these core squads. To try and wipe out those OP. You can see OP is being spotted now and already is falling. But still, more wave attacks of infantry coming into point here, and the cap progress is climbing again. This time, a little more of a rotation onto the left flank here. Uh, you can see Genofi Boba pushing down this left flank, trying to get between uh, the squads on the left, since they do have control of the east side. Uh, also, still looking to try and control this right side this north side too 
will be really bad here for the Axis if uh, if they can't maintain this control on point. You know, losing three sides of point, very easy to just focus already on the fourth. Uh, and with the 76 on point too, I think this might be the one that sticks here for the Allies. Now, over 50% now and climbing now. Can the Axis drop an airhead here? Do they have a timer for an airhead? They're gonna need it if they wanna hold this point, plus a bombing run too. But where do you bomb? That's the thing. I mean, you bomb the point itself. Maybe from, from Bates over to, to Karhua here on the left side of your screen. That's a possibility too. I, I mean, Artie is firing. We can see the Axis already in front of us at the top of the screen firing. Just their, their shots aren't getting too much of an effect right now. And with 80 to 90% cap progress, I think this be, might be the moment here where the, the Axis drop this point and it goes 4-1 for the Allies. And just like that, it's gonna be 4-1 here, Allies. Oh, and they're already capping the fifth point. All right, well, let's take a look at the map really quickly here. You can see last point's gonna be St. Marie Approach. Uh, that cap progress only coming in because there's about two people on point here. Tank battle is developing though. A brave, brave Panzer IV here coming to do battle with this 76. Uh, Panzer IV can't show himself or else he'll get one tap by the 76 here. Even if the 76 is damaged, it should be a fairly easy win here for the American tank. 2FJG Panzer IV is about to get one tapped, or is he? Oh no, the gunner's not looking the right way. And the Panzer IV kills the 76. Oh, what a Chad. What a Chad. That Panzer IV is probably going to be taken out fairly soon here, but still. Um, he did. He, that's a hashtag worth moment right there. The Panzer IV is worth a third of that 76. And that 76, all he had to do was wait until he saw him. Instead of like tunneling and peeking, he could have just chilled there. Uh, Gino's going to take out that Panzer IV, but yeah, kind of a misplay there from the 76 pushing like that. He all you need to do is wait and get one shot into the hull of that Panzer IV for it to go down. Uh, Raven here in a really nice spot. I hope he, he, he plays his best bushwalky to try and not get discovered because uh, a squad rotation onto an airhead play here could easily win back this point uh, for the Axis. Oh, he's revealing his position and getting kills. I wonder if he's in a spot where he can't hide from. It looks like he can hide. I wonder why he wouldn't just hide there. You know, you don't need to always get the high kill score. Even if you let people run away and just think there's no one there, you can put an OP down, rotate a full six man squad in and defend an airhead fairly easily. Uh, Raven, though, is going to take on the world by himself right here. He's in a 1v3. He's already got two kills. That's his third kill there. Going to be looking for more. Both sides, though. Mars Mike and uh, this Finland Loose player is going to be pushing him. Where is he? He's, like, inside the bush. Uh, Mars Mike not taking any chances. Going to get a grenade that explodes Raven. And all I, I see left is his arm. That's all that's left of it. Just one arm there in the water. Yeah, Mars Mike, smart heads up play there, not taking any chances. He's in a bush, you can't see me, might as well just use explosives. All right, 102 left to go in this one, 4-1 already. The allies are absolutely dominating this game after an, a nice, uh, you know, kind of two-man performance on the first point. Allies have just been dropping flags left, right, and center here. Uh, let's see if they can change up their strat a little bit to get back into this one. I think they're going to need to. That is a rocket. Was that? We we probably already missed it. I was I was hoping that rocket. <laughs> Look at this defense right here, Crow Dog. He does not want to get sniped. He's tired of getting sniped, and he has resorted to parking logistics trucks and building a wall. This is what I mean. I say it every time. Every time I go on this map, 
uh, Hell at Loose needs standardized artillery positioning. It needs like a dugout, you know, being able to snipe people from 500 meters away kind of sucks for the person playing artillery, especially when it's not the same on the other side. I don't know what is going on with Yardy right now. Look at this texture. Okay, it's a little fixed now. Uh, Mike's gonna get a free kill. Let's go for a knife. Go for a knife kill, please. Yes. <laughs> one with the machine. Crow Dog becoming one with the artillery piece there. Mike's gonna get the knife kill and start dismantling all these fine nodes. We'll see if Crow Dog respawns with some help here to try and, uh, try and save some economy here for the allies. Where's the respawn? Come on. There we go. Crow Dog comes up. Now he's gonna know that Mike's there. Let's see that nade technique. It's a smoke. Oh, if that had been a, a frag, that would have been a kill right down to Mike. Unfortunately, Hellfire is going to get a free one tap there onto Crow Dog's back. And I feel bad for Crow Dog because he's just going to get camped. Hellfire and Mike are just going to sit here and camp him until the end of time. Uh, let's rotate back to the battle, guys. And uh, see how the attack... Hold the phone here. There's another 76 being pulled up. See how the attack here is developing onto the last point St. Murray approach. Kind of how you would expect it to. The axes are so compact. This is not good at all. Uh, yes, they hold the right flank right now, but they're middle. I mean, this Finland loose squad is just being allowed to walk straight up the middle. Uh, what we need to see here from the axis is AT guns. We're going to need at least three. One somewhere over by the middle of the screen there. One down the main road or just off the main road, maybe in that gap there. And then another one over here on this side, either down in the valley here, across in between the houses or on the side here. But it's really hard to hit from that position. Uh, those three AT guns are need, gonna need, need to be up. And they're also going to need a few, uh, you know, rockets, Panzer Shreks, and maybe one or two Tigers to defend this. Otherwise, you're going to see two or three 76s uh, just smash through the front door like the Kool-Aid man. That's exactly what's going to happen. Uh, let's rotate back to the second point now because a little cap progress is happening here. Uh, Major in Woodland here, Phoenix getting on point. There is a half track for defense that's been, up, been brought up by 82nd AD here. Uh, Major does get one kill here though. He's going to have to watch out. Jimmy Ham is waiting with that machine gun. Ooh, Major, can he get an effective flank here? gets two major with the play and he doesn't have anything to take out this half track but he's at least going to be able to mark it out unfortunately he's not a, a satchel boy oh gem spawns in behind and claps him in the back of the head uh gem was inside the half track the whole time <laughs> oh that's golden gem with uh with a nice play protecting his investment there on the half track uh, while we were watching that little battle there on the fourth point for the Axis, uh, I heard a bombing run. I believe that bombing run was possibly an attacking one. Hard to say, though. Could have been defensive also because the Finlet Loose squad is not any closer than it was before. This, this game's been a tale of the allies just absolutely smashing this Axis team. A Holger for Finn that loose, also making progress, getting two kills down on the left side of your screen here. Holger looking for a third, gets the third. Is he going to get the OP too? No, it's a Gary. Holger with a nice individual play there, getting a bunch of kills on this Gary, crushing the Gary here. Uh, 
and looking to take St. Mary approach here with almost little to no resistance. is going to try to fight back into this one now what <laughs> what the axe really need is is some defenses here with this 76 pushing uh there is one at gun it's on the north side no south at gun that's going to be bad bad news you can see the 76 pushing up uh one at gun's not going to cut it no tanks probably no uh, eco here there is a puma but i mean oh that's not going to be too successful here uh I'm sure we'll see a big push now. White Walker does get an important shot onto that 76. I actually don't think that did any damage, unfortunately. Um, this, fin this squad, though, is going to be trouble. Going to be a lot of trouble here. Uh, once they take the other side of the river, I think we'll start to see that calf progress. What was that that just died there? That's a Panzer Fort. Why, why do Panzer Force feel the need to cut into the infantry when they flank into this? They ne that never works. You will always die, he, especially even a tiger. Don't just push into infantry alone. Take the back roads here. You see all this free open real estate? Go there and come around behind your team and then support your team that way. It never works. Flanking into the lines of an enemy like that will lose every time. Uh, half track going down the back side cap race for the last point here This one's gonna be won by the allies though This is gonna be a 5-0 here for the allies as they take this one on Monday clash guys uh, Quick game here only 40 minutes allies really dominating in this one though throughout the whole game This one's gonna end 5-0 GG guys Utah Beach again <laughs> Cap progress continues. I mean, a bombing run could potentially stop this cap progress, especially if the uh, the 76 goes down. Don't think that's going to happen, though. The 76 is in a prime spot here uh, to take this one. Re would be reinforce and bombing run instantly. But, uh, I mean, even then, I don't think it would be enough to take this one out. As that happens, we also have a Greyhound flanking this Tiger. Tiger's gonna have a Greyhound right on his six in a few seconds here. I think there's only a gunner of that Tiger there. It's gonna have to be careful. Greyhound gonna pull up. Fortunately though, Patronus in the backside gonna yeet that Greyhound. Greyhound goes down. That's a key kill here though, but with 99% cap progress, this is going to be the win here for the Allies. Taking this one 5-0 on the night here. Weekend Clash. Ends with an outlies dominating victory. GG guys, taking a look at some of the scores here. Let's start off with the allies scores. You can see there, uh, not huge scores from anybody. Well, except knock two in the tank. Damn, 2.1K. 1K for Polmos there. Uh, scrolling down, 1K for Sledgehund. Uh, that's the only boys who made it out of the 1000 range on the other team here. Yeah, nobody really making it out of the 1000 there. Uh, close there for the DC squads and the Phoenix squad, but uh, yeah, it was it was a pretty quick game though, only 40 minutes, right? So don't expect huge, huge scores. We'll have stats in a minute for you guys. Uh, of course, you know how notorious stats are in, in Hella Loose. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know how much we'll be able to trust them, but we'll take a look anyways. Uh, on the other team, you can see here, yeah, the scores a little bit a little bit lower there. No tanks making it above the uh, the combat score above uh, 2k. Certainly not like the uh, the allies did. Guys, we'll take a quick break though, and when we come back, we'll have the score.